What's up guys? This is the new ASUS BT6. It's a Wi-Fi 7 mesh system by ASUS. It's more on the budget end and it's currently in wireless backhaul. So as you guys can see, only power is connected to that ASUS and what it's doing is it's wirelessly talking to the other ASUS BT6 and the other one is actually the one that's hooked up to my ONT, which is kind of like a modem. So I'm going to do a Wi-Fi speed test and then I'm going to do an Ethernet speed test. Uh, on my Mac Mini. So my Mac Mini is wirelessly talking to the ASUS and then I'm also going to connect it via Ethernet. So we got like 1.35 down, 1.3 up. I mean I've seen I've seen better numbers than that. Um, let's see if we can actually get a better number than that. I think this one this one's not too bad. Let's try it with the server. So on the internet the public speed test servers it can actually vary uh, based on which server you're connecting to and the time of day and everything like that. So that's actually why I like the local speed test. But you guys could see we're getting faster uh, download speeds now and faster upload speeds. So the point of this video is I want to show you guys. So the performance on the ASUS is actually really good considering it, I'm with the Wi-Fi 6E device. I'm connected to that. I'm getting really good speeds and this Mac mini is not like the best placement The ASUS is not the best placement. It's next to a speaker next to a TV uh, Although I moved it a little bit over and it actually got much better when I was here I was actually getting much better uh, much worse speeds So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to connect it via Ethernet to the wireless backhaul node and here is the kicker so in its default configuration this ASUS has one 2.5 gigabit port and three other gigabit ports, but the 2.5 is denoted just as a WAN port. So I actually have to use the LAN port, which is actually capped to gigabit speeds. So I connected it to the gigabit port, as you guys could see right there. And I'm going to turn off Wi-Fi. And then I'm going to do another speed test. Now this is, I, I'm doing this, um, this router can go much faster. If I can tap into that 2.5, I'm sure I could get to, to those 2.5 gigabit speeds. But the point of this video is to show you guys that Ethernet is not necessarily always better and or faster than Wi-Fi. Typically it is, typically by default it is the way to go. Uh, however, because we're actually being capped to gigabit ports, we pretty much got the gigabit speeds. So, and when they say gigabit speeds, it's usually around this 940 number, which is not actually a gigabit, um, but that's typically the numbers that we see on an internet speed test, which is what we're getting, like 940-ish basically, as you guys could see right there. So, uh, again, the whole point of this video was that ports do make a big difference, uh, and this is why when I get uh, a router like the ASUS BT6, which is honestly phenomenal um, for internet speeds of up to gigabit, uh, but this is why I like having at least two of the fast ports, because if it had another 2.5 gigabit port, uh, we could go much faster. And, and in fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a local speed test, assuming my other computer didn't fall asleep, because I have another computer, and we'll do a speed test, a local speed test, and we're pretty much going to get right, roughly right around the same speed. So. In this case, the Mac Mini is going to the ASUS, and then the ASUS is jumping to the other ASUS, and it's going to uh, my other computer. Now, even if I remove the Ethernet port and my Mac Mini talked wirelessly to the ASUS, the fact that my other computer is hooked up to the gigabit port of the other ASUS, it, would st it still can't go faster than this. So, this is a fantastic router fantastic mesh system for internet speeds of up to gigabit and that's kind of one that I, w I wanted to show in this video and I genuinely think if it had faster if it had another if it had two 2.5 gigabit ports and I could tap into that uh, I do think I would get to those 2.5 gigabit uh, speeds on even on a wireless backhaul node so fantastic for up to gigabit speeds uh, if you're just going to be doing Wi-Fi stuff you can even go faster than that as you guys saw and in fact, if you have a Wi-Fi 7 device, I'm sure I could get faster than the 1.7, 1.5 or 1.6, whatever it was that I got. So hopefully you guys found this video helpful. Full review coming up with this thing that I'm testing with my Wi-Fi devices, my phones and stuff. So thank you guys for watching. Smash the subscribe button and I'll catch you guys in the next one.